Behind me is uh, BCER 1225. This was built for the Breezy Electric Company in 19 or 1912 and began running in Vancouver in 1913. Its main line was Steeston to downtown Vancouver and it would go uh, through Richmond, cross the uh, river bridge into Marple Station and then uh, carry on along the Arbutus Corridor there and across the old Granville Street Bridge on onto Granville and it would stop at a small station between on Davy Street between Granville and Seymour and then make its return trip. It did this until 1952 when they closed the Arbutus and Vancouver section and then it did its main run from Steveston to Marple. Occasionally it would go on the Burnaby Lake run too but uh, mainly on the Steveston to uh, Marple run. Uh, the car was uh, the car that ended the interurban era in Greater Vancouver. It did the last scheduled run, uh, pulling into Marple, Marple Station on uh, a little after one in the morning on February 28, 1958, and soon after was sold to the Orange Empire Railway Museum in Paris, California, and it went behind a Burlington Northern caboose all that way to California and the car was part of their collection and always operational. It never was a static display. They used it for a couple of years until their Southern Cal cars were up and running and then it was brought out on members day and days and uh, fan days and it always ran. Um, the Fraser Valley Heritage Railway Society in uh, cooperation with the province of BC and the city of Surrey bought the car and brought it home and for the last five years, August 2005 until today, we have uh, been putting uh, volunteer hours, over 16,000 volunteer hours today and the body is just about complete. There's only a few little touch-ups to do. The trucks, which are the motors and the wheels and all the running gear, is uh, on its way to be completion. We have two companies in Port Coquitlam um, doing those and it's our goal to have them back and the car put back together by the end of September. Uh, hopefully if everything works the way we want it to and our goals are met we hope to begin running the car in the summer of 2011.